Deal. Hello guys, we are back in two major anniversary. We're still in St. Francis Folly. And we've got one of the keys already, so now we've got to go and get the other ah. fucking lightning. And now we've got to get three up. Ah. Ah, no. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> okay, that's making my tummy rumble. I should stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Make me hungrier. Jesus Christ, that lightning is so goddamn annoying. Okay. And that's how you get out through the other side then. Mm hmm So now we've got three more sections to go. You remember the ones with the swords? The swords. In the first game. Well the swords dropped from the ceiling, yeah, I remember that. In the remake, let me tell you something, the swords will make you shit your pants in this one, trust me. Well they like drop right where you are. You'll find out when we get to it. Well they filled with blood or what? You'll see. Okay. Door open Atlas. No, that's a D one. Begins with a D. Um Dionysus is that it there? No that's what's that there? No, no that's Hephaestus. Might as well do it. Well have we already done that one then? I don't know. We've got Hephaestus yeah. key, yeah, so that's that's the one we've done. Right, so we wanna go down. Hephaestus is like the god of forging or something like that. I think so, yeah. I'm trying to remember based on my limited knowledge of Percy Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's something to do with uh, forging. Uh huh. And fire in particular. Yeah, we'll go to that one. Makes no bloody sense because in that room he used lightning. This isn't the sword room, is it? I don't know, but either way, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> so when you hear that dong, dong sound, after the third dong, you jump. Yeah. So it gives you indication of when you're supposed to jump. Ah, rats! So now we're doing the underwater section. Now this one, you remember in the, the original where you just had to swim underneath it and then grab the key and get back out? Yeah. In this game, or well, in this remake, you've got to try and raise and lower the water to get the side of the boat with your grapple to the top. That sounds like a hassle. Yeah, so this one's a lot more difficult in comparison. I remember having to use a walkthrough when I was a kid. Yeah. I can imagine. level that actually requires you to think damn it <laughs> <laughs> damn it that's not what I wanted that's what I like about anniversary more than the other team let's go swimming so it's not really that complicated is it no not really but you said you had to use walkthrough when I was when I first played it but playing this countless times I know what to do now Good. Can you actually push things underwater or not? Uh, no, you can't. Okay. We'll grab the small money pack over here. Secret. Mm hmm. You're gonna drown, so. Come on, Lara. Get your ass back up there. <laughs> you were so close. Literally, you were down to nothing. <laughs> I know. Okay. That does not mean be cocky about it. Mm hmm. But Lara does run out of breath really quickly in the, this game. 
And she does in the original. Yeah, I, I kind of guessed that. Definitely a lot of fiddling around to do here. Uh-huh. Looks like a long drop. Come to me. Precious. Hardly a precious, it's a block of wood. <laughs> Where's my precious? Because I needed to get past the level. And that's it. Yeah, that's what's precious, because I needed to get past the level. But that's it. Yeah. Well, actually, no, scratch that. The ski on of Atlantis is the precious. Exactly. It's the goal of the game, innit? Mm hmm. Innit, though? Come to me. So now I'm guessing you've got to raise the water again. Uh huh. Gee, how did I ever guess that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably, I was going to say this, I'm probably the only person who doesn't like Amy. Amy? Rose from Sonic. I was going to say, that's a very random change of subject there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just find her annoying, I find her useless. I was gonna say look. I just didn't like her. <laughs> I was gonna say that was that was a random time to say that. I just felt like saying it. <laughs> Kia Poseidon. Mm-hmm. What do you think? I kinda like Amy. I think I would have preferred it if they took her the Sonic Adventure um, route though. Mm-hmm. So, let's get the fuck out of here. We got the key, motherfuckers. And now we're going to get the fuck out. Okay. Yeah, Poseidon is the Greek god of water. Mm-hmm. I believe. Uh-huh. We picked up. So now we're going to make our way back out. Right. Okay. Find out where the X is first, haven't you? Uh huh. And the exit is over there? Yeah, over there. So now we've got two more sections, and then we're out. A lot longer than the, the original, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Trying to get up there before that gets up there. <laughs> Pretty much. So impatient. Nothing wrong with being impatient in some areas. Yeah, but in some other areas it is. Mm -hmm. Tell you something, my girlfriend's very impatient. She is. So is my husband. <laughs> Though he will never admit to it. <laughs> So he's afraid to admit it then? No, he's not afraid to admit it, he just doesn't admit it. Okay, now we are going to... where? That's Atlas. Right. So Atlas is the uh, Titan, I think, who held up the sky or something. He he was trapped under the weight of the sky. Ah, oh, was he? Yeah, if I remember rightly. Ah, oh, cool. 
This is... Uh, I'm getting this from Percy Jackson. I'm not actually getting this from proper sources, but I could be wrong on a few details, but... Just judging by what I know. Yeah, have you ever seen the Percy Jackson film? Yes. What's it like? It's okay, but they change an enormous amount from the book, and that kind of bugs me. Yeah, James told me how good the film was, though, and he wanted me to see it with him. I thought it was alright, actually. Yeah, I think the film's okay. It's just I don't like the fact they change so much from the book. Like, did you know Percy was meant to be 12 years old? Okay, in and the book. I, do, I do remember from the film that Percy was a bit older than 12. He was a lot older than bloody 12. I remember when I saw that. <laughs> yeah, he's originally t only 12 in the mm -hmm. book. But, you know, that's the book, so I won't, I won't... And we're not talking about Percy Jackson so much. I mean, I know it's got something to do with this because it is Greek, mm -hmm. and we are in Greece and stuff, but still, I just... yeah. Such impatience. <laughs> just wait. I was go just about to say you're too slow then, and then you end up bloody getting it right. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Take that then. So this isn't the room with the swords, is it? No, that's going to be the last room. Oh god, let's see. It's not Ares, is it? Because Ares was the god of war. Don't, not the god of war as in the video game series. <laughs> but I think he was like the Greek god of like war and battles. Oh and yeah, stuff. god of war's well good though, the god of war games, they're well good. Yeah. Yeah. Really good games. Explains why Matt got me those books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Especially God of War 2, that's an excellent game. Okay. Okay, Lara. Do it. No! Ah! She bruised her leg. Mm. How will she ever go on? So now we need to remove those spikes so we can get to the um, ski on piece. Ski on piece? Mm -hmm. Already? I'm joking. I meant the key. Ah! Fucking hell. I meant to say the key. So we gotta go and get the key up there. Just down there. Oh, fuck when hell. she gets up there, yeah. I'm getting my words mixed up today. I was going to say, please tell me you remember what to do. <laughs> I hope to God I do remember what to do. You don't at the moment. Mm. What, I'm just saying it like it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you remember. Yes. Now this boulder's going to come after you. Oh, I'm not fast enough. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Boulder. Splat. That was a good sound effect as well. Splat. Okay, this time Laura's going to move her butt and not just. Ugh, God. Okay. Atlas, we're going to relieve the weight of the sky from you. Now get ready to rumble! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! Dun dun dun! dun, dun. Okay, it's not that funny. Mm -hmm. I'll cut it out. <laughs> okay, so now we can go back and retrieve the key. Yeah, the whole thing with that is, like I said, La um, Atlas is. Uh, Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was like the titan that held up the sky. It was like, I think it was like a punishment or something. He was forever to hold the weight of the sky. This is judging by what I know and I could be wrong. Key of Atlas. Okay. Pack. 
And obviously you're gonna have to get a new Yeah, a new means of getting across. <laughs> uh -huh. So there's only one more room to check out, isn't there? Mm-hmm. You are supposed to pull the switch, you know. Uh-huh. I know that. You knew that. He didn't forget. He knew that. <laughs> I'm tired, that's why. So I've got excuse. Yeah. Okay, so now we've only got one more to go, which is the sword room. Then you'll be able to see what it's like. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Imagine doing a time trial on this bugger. <laughs> You'd be here forever. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then again, I can hardly imagine really people doing time trials on um, classic Tomb Raider stages either, because they went on for a while. Yeah, especially the hard ones. Yeah. Unless you played it constantly, then that's the only way you're going to get through it. We've been in there. Mm-hmm. Unless you played them constantly, then you'll be able to know how to do it. Yeah. But, yeah. So we've done Hephaestus, we've done Atlas, and we've done Poseidon. Mm -hmm. So anything that's not one of those three, I guess. Let's see who the fourth guy is. Do you know where it is? I'm looking. I'm looking. He's forgotten. <laughs> I'm looking around. Yeah, thanks. Put a checkpoint up there. Thanks, game. You know, there'll probably be people watching this later on going, It's there, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hester's Atlas, we've done those two. Okay. So who's number four? There he is, down there. Oh, I can't see the name. Right, okay. Now I know how to get down there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, what? Push, Lara! Push! And now she's pulling. Just to let you know. Okay, now she's pulling. Alright. Okay. So I drop down here, pick a small ready pack up. Okay. Want to drop down there? And then just slide down here. I can't. Oh shit, I forgot to pull the lever. <laughs> oh wow, well. hold on. Okay. Where's, where's the lever? I pulled that lever. I pulled the one, two ones at the top, so there's got to be another lever at the top. Top. Top floor. Top floor. And the lever is over there. Somehow I've got to get over there. Without dying, preferably. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. So let's go slope to from there. Platforms from there. Oh, okay. That shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So somehow, last time I can do somehow do a double jump and get to there. With a yeah. No. Ah <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Now I know what to do. Seems so painfully obvious now. <laughs> mm -hmm. God, she must get so tired doing that. I'm surprised she ain't knackered. That's what I meant. That's what I mean. I meant back in here. Oh yeah. 
Which just to put safe. just to put the checkpoint up so I can not go all the way through the bullshit again. Let's for the checkpoint. Okay, sure. Because there's a checkpoint, because there was a checkpoint beforehand when I was at the top, and I don't want to work my way back down again, just in case I make a mistake. Okay, sure. Like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the layout of that. I do really don't like the layout of that. Where you put, like, you put something you can swing on, and then you can't swing on it when you jump to it. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Probably a good thing you did go in there then to get the uh, checkpoint. That's why I did that, just in case. Sure, it had nothing to do with the fact that you uh, forgot which room you were supposed to be going into. Mm -hmm. Hey! We Huzzah! <laughs> Like I said, I do find this level more challenging than the original game. When it comes to traversing and getting to places. But yeah, we gotta get over there. Work our way back up. Yeah. Yeah. So you've been up to any new games lately? Not really. Like I said, I'm working on the Sonic Adventure LP. Yeah. <clears throat> Not a big fan of bid the cat stages. Yeah. They're boring. Wait until slow. I get... Oh god, I'm looking forward to getting to them. <laughs> Not. Ah! She should have crashed that. Well, because you didn't checkpoint. I was going to say, so one thing I don't like about the new Tomb Raider games is you have to make sure you line yourself up perfectly to grab ledges. Because if you don't, sometimes I won't climb it, sometimes she will, sometimes she doesn't. It's just weird. So hold on, you, the switch is still pulled, isn't it? There damn well be. Yeah, it is. That's alright, you must have got another checkpoint and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing unusual there. Mm-hmm. Let's hopefully finish Fran St. Francis fully in this part. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. I'd like to think we could. And we'll be there. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. Slightly... be a game I'd like to see LP, you know, get LP'd. Mm -hmm. Super Mario 64. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that game. Yeah, the whole way through, all of them. Well, once when I was a kid, but that was ages ago. Okay, let's move on in here. This is the sword room in it. Uh huh, pretty much. That door's gonna fall in it. Yeah, so this one, if you jump to it, it's going to fall down, so you got to make sure you jump just right. Fuck. You! Yeah. After you pull this down, I'm going to... gonna. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to smash Lara. So I've got a checkpoint smashed up, so I'll be safe. So I've just got to get this full quick. Uh, aren't you supposed to come down? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but why did you do that? Just for goals. Just for lols. That's it. Pretty much. <laughs> I got a checkpoint anyway, so I thought I might as well do it. Just to show you the death animations and anniversary. Really? Uh huh. So you need to pull this down, otherwise, you can't get through. Pretty much. Because with that one, if you jump to it, it'll just close. So, yeah. So now, we pull this lever. And now we can jump to that, and then get to the top there. 
Like so. <laughs> yep. Okay, so this is the sword room. Yep. And let me tell you something, this room will make you jump more than the original when it comes to the swords falling down. At least it did for me. Key of Damachis or whatever it is. Whoa! <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're big fucking swords. I'll go through that again. So you've got to move quite quickly. Yeah. We can just say that. Okay. So this room is more full of rage than the original game. Yeah, it's like, it's like they're dare really you pissed. steal the key. <laughs> it's like they're really pissed off. The other guy's like, oh, who the fuck cares? And the original was just like, oh, it's alright, we'll just be a bit gentle with that. And then the, and then the remake is like, how fucking dare you take my key? Now you're getting regret it. You're going to die. But nevertheless, it's not too hard to get through, is it? Nah. But I will say though, when it comes to getting outside and the swords falling down, it will make you jump quite a bit in this remake. Like that, see? Didn't make me jump. Well, what if it comes near in front of you? Then it would make me jump. So there's obviously a pattern. Uh huh. You just gotta follow that pattern and then you'll be fine. Okay. Wow. So scary. Oh, it was when I first played it. Oh, I actually got quite close to it. That was on top that of it. That one actually. Thanks yeah. for jinxing it. <laughs> oh, good. All loading. Fuck the swords. They're annoying. Actually, don't fuck the swords because that'd be quite painful. Down you quite a bit. <laughs> there goes the sound. Hey. You could have done that earlier and saved everyone a lot of hassle. Just looking up. Okay, so what do we do? What we do now is that we've got to climb up here. Fucking Lara jumps. So I pressed the X button like three times and she didn't jump then. Noob, Lara. Noob. <laughs> <laughs> So now you want to climb this pole. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Want to jump over there? Jump away from there, and there's a large mini pack for you to pick up. Okay. This bit's quite tricky. What they want you to do is that bit was quite tricky. You have to use the grapple, then jump back as soon as you hit that wall there. Okay. So jump to this platform here. So now we can open the door again and get out. Yep. So now we've got all four keys, so now we got to get to the bottom and insert the keys, and then we're done with San Francis Folly. So, yay, we should finish it in this part. Mm-hmm. Okay. On this side, you can jump on it, though, can't you? Yeah, you can. Good. One. Three. Okay, 
so we're nearly out of here. Democles or whatever that is. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't recognise that name. So now we get the glorious task of putting all four keys in. That's right. One. Updating profile, come on. Thank you. That's the problem I have with the PS3 version when it comes to the HD remake is it does the saving thing right every time you put in a key. And you have to wait until the updating profile goes away and then you can press the X button. That's stupid. You don't need to checkpoint after every key you put in there. I mean, what's going to come and kill you? Seriously. Unlike in the PS2 game, I could just press X, but I've got to wait for a couple of seconds because it's updating the profile, and then I can press X. What the fuck, game? Yeah, that is a pain in the bottom. And that's St. Francis Folly. We'll see you all, all right. in the next part. In the Coliseum. See you later. See you later.